Hello there. Today's story is called Bijou, Bonbon, bon, and Bo. And this is the story of the kittens who dance for Degas. Now, Degas is a very famous artist in France, and he was particularly famous for painting ballerinas. And it just happens that Matisse was a huge fan of Degas' work, and he collected his paintings. This story is written by Joan Sweeney and illustrated by Leslie Wu. Bijou, Bon Bon, and Bo. One blustery day, long ago, a weary cat crossed a bridge over the River Seine in Paris. All afternoon, she had been searching for a warm place. When she thought she could go no further, she came to a theater where ballet was performed. The theater was known throughout Paris. A talented artist often came there to sketch. That was Degas. No one saw the cat slip through the back door. The next morning, the wardrobe mistress discovered the cat. A mama with three tiny kittens. Oh, what angels, Madame Duvet exclaimed. She lined a basket with some soft leotards for their home. The ballerinas were enchanted. They named the mama cat Marmalade for her orange stripes. And they called her babies Bijou, Bonbon, bon, and Bo. Each day before rehearsal, the dancers, stagehands, and musicians all stopped by to visit the kittens. The artists often came too. Hush, Madame Duvet would scold when their chatter grew too loud. You're making marmalade nervous. Stick up. He's watching. One day, while the ballerinas were practicing, Marmalade decided to move her kittens to a quieter spot. She was just carrying the last kitten off when a frightful voice boomed. Sacre la bleu! It was Armand Clink, the stage manager. No one was safe from his temper. Flustered, Madame Duvet dropped her pincushion. Meanwhile, Marmalade escaped with the kittens. Not before Clink roared, get rid of those animals at once! One of the empty seats in front of the theater came a softer voice. Calm down, Clink. They'll keep the mice away. Oh, it was the artist quietly sketching. Very well, huffed Clink. He knew the artist's drawings helped sell the tickets. Keep those creatures out of my sight, he growled to Madame Duvet. From then on, Madame Duvet did her best to hide Bijou, Bonbon, bon, and Beau. But before long, they grew too big for their basket, and their curiosity grew just as fast. Oh, the mischief they got into! They chased after the ballerinas and slept in their toe shoes. They got tangled in Madame Duvet's thread and ran off with her ribbons. Still, no one could resist them. Not the gruff stage hands, not the old violinist who played at rehearsals, not the stern ballet master who tried to hide his smile, and not the artist who sketched the dancers, not even when the kittens jumped on his sketchbook, leaving tiny paw prints and his precise strokes of pastel. By then, the troupe was practicing long and hard. They were going to perform a new ballet, and everything had to be perfect. Madame Duvet was busy with her needle and thread. She had no time to think about kittens. Every tutu had to fit just right. At last, opening night arrived. Every seat in the theater was taken. When the curtain went up, the ballerinas never looked lovelier, and they never performed so well. 
their jetetés were flawless, and their pirouettes perfect. All at once, lured by the whirling feet, the kittens charged from the wings. They pounced on the dancers' ankles and spun in front of the footlights. The, they crouched low, then sprang through the air. The ballerinas could barely stay on their toes. Over the music came the sound of soft chuckles. The artists, watching from the wings, chuckled too. Before long, laughter filled the entire theater. Can you imagine? Quickly, Clink brought the curtain down. Gritting his teeth, he announced a brief intermission. Backstage, he searched for the kittens. Find them, he raged to one and all, and then out they go! Madame Duvet was nearly in tears. The poor kittens, they did not deserve the cold streets. The kitten wrapped around her leg. The next day, however, the ballet was the talk of the town. Suddenly, everyone wanted tickets. All of Paris wanted to see the kittens who danced. What could Clink say? A full theater was all he could ask for. The kittens were allowed to stay. Never again did they stop a performance. Madame Duvet made certain of that. But for the rest of the season, when the ballerinas took their final bows, they held Marmalade and her family in their arms. Bravo, Marmalade! Bravo, Bijou, Bonbon, and Belle! That end. Here is a picture of Degas painted of the dancers. What do you think? Do you think those cats are maybe somewhere in the corner?